Day 79 is Catharsis. It's a resolution that will be found at the end of another beeping signal. Additionally, it will not be as in-depth or as meticulous as it could be, as there is a lot of dialogue and conversations that I'm going to skip over, so it is definitely well worth scanning through again, just to maximise on every aspect of, of what is transpiring here in this place. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About what happened to Brian? I don't have much to say. I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm whatever. I keep thinking about him down there, and I just want to get far away from here. What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Until then, could you follow that signal? Maybe? Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us, who, whoever made the tape. Okay, yeah, um, look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. status I think I'm getting close all right well I just got word that they are coming to get us my place you sound worried no it's it's just Brian I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram it's north far past where you found that cut back in May there's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. Three years. I kept it cozy. The winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. 
About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone he's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. B. Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Uh, the sequence now, I'm going to try and backtrack the way I came from, but it's not the best way I don't think to do this. Instead, as what I'm going to do in a couple of minutes, you want to head back towards the lake, just like you did at the very beginning of the game, and head up that main artery that I mentioned previously. I was hoping I could trim this out and sequence it a little bit better, but because of the nature of the game, it, there was no real clean way to do it without a crossfade, so I thought I'd just leave it in and I'd give you a little bit of this map navigation as I myself find my own path through the forest. Eventually, you'll look back, and you'll be far enough away to forgive yourself. I justified it myself, maybe. Yeah, well, that's better than nothing. And he'll still be down there in that cave. Because if I say anything, they're gonna ask me about Ned. <laughs> e? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey! No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting, right now. Please. Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay, I, I don't want to do that. I know that sounds harsh. <sighs> okay, I'll wait. I'm not far. Okay. If you can believe it, we're now traversing towards the conclusion of the game. A very, very interesting experience it was as well. 
And the one thing that I love the most about Firewatch is just how my imagination and my expectation was completely wrong. I thought there was going to be all kinds of crazy Orwellian fucking scientific secret base nonsense. I thought there was going to be a murderer. I thought this was all going to be some kind of social experiment. I had a million and one theories. We were dead. This is purgatory. You name it, I'd thought of it. And then the actual truth was so much more grounded in reality than anything I'd come up with. And it was great, even though I would have loved to have seen, you know, a boss fight in a burning forest where you were using a shotgun or, you know, getting attacked by somebody where you defend yourself with an axe or it turned out that, you know, this was your dead wife all along or insert what you would have liked it to be and what your expectations were over what it was. And I think one of the, the true achievements here is how it does that. Everybody's going to come to this expecting something different and when it gives you something, that is so very different to what you were expecting that goes against everything that you're used to in video games in and itself can be a quality and it's one that I've not really come across in games. Some will probably find it underwhelming and probably think that this is not even really a game because you don't do all that much in it. But if you're looking for a, an interactive adventure that mixes both great ambience, atmosphere, storytelling and characters that you can really get behind and want to listen to rather than hastily skip through then I think Firewatch could definitely be for you. But I think if you've made it this far and are listening to this, then you've probably made that decision for yourself. It's a nightmare out there. Hello? Belila? Uh, damn it. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. I am. Well, I couldn't be out there another minute. Not another minute? Come on. Henry, how did you feel when you left Boulder to come out here? Like I couldn't get here fast enough. Exactly. That's how I felt for the past 24 hours. <sighs> well, I'm still mad. But you understand. Sure. Yeah. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <sighs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, 
I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. I've, uh, I gotta move on. I don't expect you to know what that's like, but I have to find some way to move on. Something to do. What if you can't? Then maybe they're hiring lookouts in the Adirondacks. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. I just, I gotta move on. Somehow. I hope you do. There's the helicopter. They'll land you back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. Bye, Hank. Something worth noting as well, if you don't get on the helicopter there at the end and instead choose to wait, it will eventually fly away and leave Henry behind to, for all intents and purposes, die in the forest fire. But that was Firewatch, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you take care.